Okay, we're back um, with uh, part two of this visual web uh, developer series uh, uh, tutorial number seven, part two of uh, look at jQuery and how to uh, jQuery UI and how to install it on your system. This is Amin Mojara with Imagination Everywhere and the RIA Institute. And as I was saying earlier, if we look at the page that we just loaded up, you don't see the icons. Um, you don't see the other effects that you should see like the glossiness it's hard it's a little hard to see on the, the blister theme but if you look here you can see um, you can see the gloss um, you can see the icons that 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 should appear when uh, parts of like this icon right here on the open dialog those icons are down here um, and as you can see they didn't have a color on that page and so if we go back to our solution we have the style sheet. The style sheet did, did what it needed to do. But what we really sh really can do, in j and just to make everything easier on, on, on the bandwidth that you use, is if we go back to the jQuery website, and we go back over to development, and we scroll down to uh, the Google CDN for jQuery UI, and click on the Blitzer theme, all we have to do, if we zoom in, is copy this URL right here copy this URL right here I don't know why it's taking me so long to copy it copy it right there zoom out and go back into our project and if we zoom in and where the where the href t uh, tag is, what we can do is we can instead of using the style sheet in our solution in our webs in our uh, web folder, all we have to do is just paste the URL there. Zoom out, change a little bit, save our save our project. And if we go back and we refresh our page, voila, here we go. You have the icons now, you have the, the full stuff for the calendar, the slider, everything else. And since you, if you all watched the video yesterday, you already know how to go in and customize uh, this. You can erase all this. Uh, just make sure. Um, on the index.html page that I showed you that we opened up that you keep um, if we go into the solution explorer that you uh, keep the JS files that are here um, I would say keep everything even the style sheet even though you're not using it anymore um, and they have a, a bunch of stuff in here they have a uh, demo documents that you can look at um, that we're going to work on getting styles for those um, but basically you know the t most important files to keep are these are these JS files this is the jQuery UI file and the jQuery uh, minified version of uh, version 1.3.2 um, and uh, just make sure that you know you you have the link to the Google Ajax library as we can see here um, let me minimize this uh, you know and uh, oh and make sure that you have the functions for all that initiate all of the the effects and the in the widgets so um, as you can see they have the dialogue link the uh, the tabs the accordion all the tools the date picker the slider the progress bar the hover, hover over um, and like I said I'm gonna do a whole video series on jQuery UI um, because I know there are a lot of you out there that are going to want to do incredible things with your clients and your websites and we're going to get into it and we're going to get into a lot of um, I've been promising to get involved with uh, with more videos with the Silverlight uh, series but that involves you guys learning a whole new other markup language which is XAML and uh, 
um, I'm in the process of, of, of creating more content so I can give you good Silverlight presentations. But jQuery basically allows us to 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 do things for beginners because uh, uh, Silverlight is a little bit more advanced for for those of you who who know about it. Um, but what we can do is if we go back to uh, the the jQuery UI. I just wanted to show you some other things with the developers uh, center uh, that that I think that you guys would like. Um, if we uh, go into the um, the roadmap, uh, <coughs> this will tell you about all of the the uh, the the, the the components and uh, what they're looking for in the future. Um, so, you know, if you if you um, want to look at all of the components that you that that, that they're working on, um, you can go into the the roadmap and uh, you can uh, click on the roadmap. You, you have to click on the uh, roadmap. Uh, Thing and go to the front page and if you if I zoom in and show you all the controls like the tab they'll tell you that it's uh, complete and it's stable um, you know uh, and they'll tell you the type is inter uh, it's a widget uh, they got the sortable which is a uh, which is a uh, interaction uh, function um, and they show you show you all that's complete but they also show you what's in development um, they have another modal type of box in the, in development, an auto complete box, uh, tool tip, menus, buttons, um, a shadow toolbar. Uh, those are in development, and then they have the shadow and the toolbar and the grid and all kinds of other stuff. Basically, if you know anything about Microsoft Ajax Toolkit, this looks like what they're doing. You know, they're planning and 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 uh, for you know helping helping the HTML developer out so uh, so you know again I'm gonna do a whole series on the jQuery UI and I before you start getting into jQuery UI I would encourage you to read up on some JavaScript and look at some jQuery uh, video tutorials so that you can get used to it um, and I'll see you in the next video I hope you enjoy this. this is a real treat for me to uh, introduce you to jQuery UI, uh, especially after the last couple of days of showing you the the light boxes and things like that. So, um, so uh, thank you, and uh, see you in the next video.